Greetings YouTube. When I did a recent video about how I carry my EDC every day, I mentioned that I had ordered a new pouch. And I have. It's arrived and I'm now using it. And so I thought I would talk about my old pouch and compare it to the new pouch I have. Both of these are from Night Eyes, N-I-T-E-I-Z-E. -E. Um, they make a number of products that I quite like, um, both flashlights and uh, uh, carrying options. So this is my old pouch. Um, it's got an old logo, you can tell it's kind of kind of worn. Um, and it, uh, it's it been uh, a very handy, useful tool, but it is a little on the tired side. So you open up and you have your main compartments. This is where I had my, my uh, multi-tool. This is where I had my flashlight. This is where I kept my pen. I never used this and I never really used that. And here I just a, a section I, I never really took advantage of that. And one of the reasons I'm replacing this is if you see right here, my pen wore a hole right through the pouch, and that would be that would be this pen right here. This is the Smith and Wesson tactical pen that I was carrying. So when it, I would carry it, it just it just went right through the pouch over time because you know this is putting a little bit of pressure on it, and you know, you're daily poking, and it went right through. So I realized I didn't need a pen this large, um, so I have changed my pen options. I will get to that in a moment. Um, and then we have. Um, this is the main strap that you go to put your belt through. Um, it would allow you to put a belt this way. This is an open if you if you wanted to. And this down here is a pouch. And I actually used the pouch um, in the past. And the nice thing about this is this Velcro would come down here. So it would effectively make this one long pouch. Because even though this is a sleeve, with this here connecting the sleeve and the lower section, you could put things in there quite comfortably. And this is where I would keep my Swiss card. I would just tuck it down the back and it would... It would ride about here normally. Maybe it would shake down a little bit more or ride up a little higher if I'd if I had been carrying it, just using it. Now you may be asking why is there a carabiner on here? Well, here's the issue. When I put this on a belt, it will slide like this. So between the two belt loops you have it, it could potentially slide for that entire distance, which is really annoying. Particularly that I wear it on my left side, and if it slid forward, it would block my left hand pocket. So I added this carabiner which I would then clip onto the belt loop and that would keep it, it would have no more play than you know half inch or so so that it wouldn't go anywhere. Very handy. Um, but this is now kind of tired and old and I'm going to no longer use it. This is my new pouch which is the same company but this is the latest version of it. It's a little bit wider um, and it has a slightly different carrying system. So you have a, a plastic clip here, and the plastic clip actually moves this way. And it has, let me see if I can see, see that? Yeah, there you can go. See that hook right there? So that really securely fits onto a belt and doesn't go anywhere. Um, but it allows you to, if you really want to, you can pull it off and slide it off the belt. So you can take it off the belt this way if you want, or slide it on and off this way. And the same issue I have with the, the other pouch is that within a belt, it can slide back and forth, but this is space right here because it's hard. It does not allow the, a carabiner in there. So I have this strap here, which is um, just a, a piece of you know nylon webbing with the kind of snaps, snaps, and the black snap is on the outside, so you really don't see it. It's not a shiny piece of um, silver showing to the outside when it's on my belt. Um, this was actually part of a compression strap system that I used that came with the backpack I reviewed not that long ago. The uh, the bag I got for my, my tablet. Um, and I don't need it, so I cut off the plastic. There was a plastic clip here, so I removed the plastic clip. And now it has been reborn as the strap to hold my um, my pouch in place. There's a large pouch back here. There we go. Pouch back here, obviously not for instant access, but it allows the storage of smaller items down here if you want. Um, it again has the same kind of sleeve situation, but since there is no strap holding this, this is never going to be one effective continuous pouch. This is always going to be a sleeve here and a pouch here. So it's a different, slightly different carrying um, situation, but it still allows you to carry it this way if you want, or you could put it through put it through a, a backpack strap if you want to put this on a strap on a backpack or something. That is still a solid option. Because this is plastic and rigid, and this whole area is just much more securely um, manufactured. I mean, it's got um, it's bolted and everything on. This is not going to slump as much, so it's it sits flatter, which is much. I have to admit, I kind of like that. Now for the main area. Large Velcro area. You can get that out of the way. 
Here we have my Swiss tool. Here we have my flashlight with a lanyard so it doesn't it's easy to access. Here we hope here we have a cat hair. What a shock. I have a cat hair in my house. Um, here we have my Swiss card, which is a little more exposed because the only thing that's holding it in place really is the fact that it's got gravity and it's got a little bit of pressure here because these these two panels are elastic. Um, and it's not quite as secure, I don't think, as the other pouch, but it's so far it's been giving me no problems. And here's my new pan, which I'll get to in a second. And this right here, because there is a little more room, it's a little wider here, I've taken advantage of that and I've put in this, which is a dental pick, which is quite handy to have, particularly because at the moment, my fingernail is gone, which is what I usually use to pick my teeth when I have something caught in them. So I'm carrying dental pick around, which is still very handy. And again, the Swiss card goes here, and then we have my new pen. Now the new pen is, see if I can get it in there, a Zebra F701. This is a solid bodied um, stainless steel. It has nice knurling down here. It is a one-handed um, pen. Uh, got a decent clip. Um, this area screws off so you can replace the, the cartridge. Uh, I, I happen to be really happy with this pen. I gotta tell you, it's not as fancy as my tactical pen. It's much lighter. Um, the stainless steel body is like, quite comfortable, and I really love this knurling. I have traditionally very dry skin, so if I have a smooth-bodied pen, even my other one, because the knurling didn't go down this far, it made it difficult to write. But because this knurling, even though it's about you know, like an inch long, it's right down here where I'm holding it, so it's very comfortable. I'm really quite liking it. And this action is just silky smooth. And what the greatest thing about this pen right here, this Zebra pen, it was like eight or nine dollars at Staples. So dirt cheap. Um, and so far I'm really, really happy with its performance. And because it's, I've got it situated right in here, it's fitting down here. It's not gonna poke a hole through my, my pouch. And even though it doesn't have a strap holding it in place, um, it's kind of sandwiched between these two items. So I'm not too concerned. And again, this is my, my flashlight, which I have in here and the lanyard makes it easier to pull out because you see how far that goes in there. And trying to get that out with your fingers would be difficult to do. Um, and again, there's the, the key loop. I never use the key loop, just not my, my style. Um, so there you have my Night Eyes pouch. I think this is the XL model. I'm not positive. Um, very useful. Uh, decent quality. Um, this is the third one I've owned. I went to, through two of the, the smaller pouches and we'll see how well this one lasts. I mean, though they lasted like four or five years a piece. So uh, I think that's a decent investment. And I got this off of Amazon for $13. So you can't lose there, folks. Um, so hope this has been helpful.